That was heavy. Just handled that like a man. Much heavier than That's I thought. We do it. Hey, welcome to Truck U. So today in the shop, we've got this 2013 JK Unlimited Rubicon. Cool looking Jeep. This thing is nice. The Rubicon already comes with several upgrades. You know, you caught us kind of mid job, right? Because we got a couple things done, but we got a whole lot more to do. When you talk about the upgrades that are synonymous with a Rubicon, you're talking about the axles because now you've got a Dana 44 in the front and the rear, and you've got that electric selectable locker, which is a luxury to have inside the vehicle. So that's cool. For the record, right? I'm very happy with all of this. This is all fine, but I thought it'd be cool to call the guys at Dana and say, look, maybe a few upgrades, right? Maybe we get some gears from Spicer. We do that. Some Spicer axle shafts. I don't know. Just some ideas that I have in my head. Wow. I mean, that's very practical. It makes a lot of sense. It's probably the next logical step. I, I like it. I think so. But I've got a better idea. Well, always. <laughs> Just hang with me here. I got a little <laughs> surprise. You come over this way. So I did a little digging on the internet. Right. And I found some really cool stuff I have to tell you about. <laughs> you did. But I also ordered some really cool stuff. Okay. Two totally different things. Right. Both very cool. This is all about this the surprise. Is like a big reveal? Because sometimes with you, come on. This is, I'm a little bit. You don't like the theatrics. All right. Build Ready? it up, build it up. And. Three and two, two and. and Ta-da! <laughs> now, this I like. I give this you one. the ultimate Dana 60. Huh? So, I give you confession time. Because sometimes, you know, with your surprises, uh, that's not so great. But this one, I'm digging it, man. This will work. This is going to be awesome on that Jeep. I mean, honestly, when it first came, I opened it up and I'm like, wait, they sent the wrong stuff. This looks like it's going on a semi. I mean, look at the brakes, man. 14 inch rotors, dual piston calipers. You've got all the wiring harness here for the ABS stuff. These guys have thought of everything. It's a direct bolt in, even ran the wires here for the electric locker and give you the harness for it. They couldn't make it any easier. Now we just got to get that into place. There are two things that I absolutely love that I get to work with a lot. You know, one is a cutaway where you take a piece or a part and you cut it in half and you can see into it. I love that. And the other is a good side by side comparison, man. Take a look at the caliper. That's the one that was on here before that came off versus the new huge one that's going on that you were talking about a little bit earlier. You know what that is? That's caliper envy. It looks like we hit it with shrink spray. You know <laughs> exactly. what I mean? But look at how really massive does. this is. It's a great comparison because you can visually see how much bigger and badder these braking calipers are. Now, one of the things you have to keep in mind is the fact that this whole setup has to go in a lifted application. We've got a couple inches of lift and everything's going to be good. One of the issues comes down to just clearance. Look at how massive this is. You want to make sure you have no issues with hitting any of the tanks or anything like that. But in terms of direct bolt-in is what we really like about this. Now, the lift blocks, we took them off the old setup. Boom, they go right into place. They've even thought about putting a new uh, track bar relocator bracket in. So the one that came with the kit gets kicked. This one is bigger, better, and better. Another thing I like about it is it's a full floating axle. So you've got a 35 spline chromoly axle shaft in that tube right there. And the only thing it has to do is transfer torque and spin that tire. It's not bearing any of the brunt of the shock load or any kind of impact. That's all being handled by the housing. And as you can see, the housing can take I got you, dude. All right. Look at that. Just put that. That's fine. So with the brake lines on, everything else is pretty much set in place. Now we didn't tighten anything down yet. You want to wait till you get the suspension loaded with the weight of the vehicle. We though have a little bit more work to do before we get to that point because we got to do the same thing up front. Yeah. I think just the pure size of it intimidated us, but it actually went together really quickly. That's right. Right. Let's get up front. I like it. I'm looking forward to seeing the finished product. Yeah, me too, no brother. doubt. Hey, welcome back to Truck U. So we got the Ultimate Dana 60 installed in the rear, and that brings us up here to the front. But it also brings up an interesting point. You see a lot of Dana 60s out on the market, and they're not always original and genuine Dana parts. This is a 100% genuine Dana part inside and out, made with Spicer ring and pinion, axle shafts, and U-joints. It's the real deal. The real deal. When we talk about the real deal, talk about U-joints for a second. Now, we did a little show and tell here earlier doing a side-by-side -side comparison. Check this out. Now, this is the factory 1350 U-joint. Plenty strong, don't get me wrong, right. but what we're talking about here is kind of going over the top a little bit. Check that out. This is the SPL 70. Now, this thing has a torque rating of 7,000 pounds. I'm talking like a top fueler <laughs> this thing would be good for. That's how impressive this is. Everything is bigger and better, and then you turn this, and right there in the middle of it all are the worn locking hubs. Another thing I like about it is it's made with twin tapered roller bearings as opposed to a unit bearing. How's that? 
Perfect. Good. You know, one of the goals for this Jeep was to give it a lower center of gravity. And one of the things we have yet to talk about is the fact that these axles are going to help us do just that. They're four and a half inches wider than the factory ones, which is going to give us a wider stance. And essentially, that lower center of gravity makes this thing more stable. Also going to give us a little bit more clearance for those big tires. So the name of the game today was low center of gravity, and I think we accomplished that. You know, we got this vehicle nice and stable, it's low, and it articulates. Now it's time to really test it. Here we're crawling over everything. This thing is running great, and it's totally delivering the goods, you know what I mean? But also on top of that, it looks awesome. And Sometimes that's even more important. I think it's a lot more important sometimes. <laughs> but you know what? We got the body stuff done to it. That looks good. We got some added protection, all those new axles, and the wheels and tires.